K30 Biho is considered one of the most dangerous close-range defense systems in the world. Possessing two 30mm caliber guns and four 7km range missiles, South Korea's K30 Biho complex can easily shut down area targets from North Korea. The North Korea Air Force currently possesses many types of low-flying aircraft, hiding in front of enemy air defense radars to deploy special forces and spy attacks. In addition, North Korea has a squadron of unmanned aircraft to spy. This forced South Korea to deploy short-range air defense systems. From 1983 to 1991, the Korean Agency for Defense Development, Research and Development a low altitude anti-aircraft artillery complex, highly responsive and maneuverable to strengthen air defense capabilities for ground forces, the K-30 Bihor. K-30 Project is the first indigenous advanced weapon system designed by Korean researchers and engineers. K-30 is classified as self-propelled anti-aircraft weapon, which can operate under day or night conditions. Once completed, the 26.5 ton vehicle is 6.77 meters long, 3.3 meters wide, and 4 meters high. K-30 is operated by four-person crew. The turret is located in the center of the hull, integrated with weapons and electronic sensors. The main weapons of the K-30 is the 30mm twin guns, which are located on either side of the turret. The guns had a cyclic rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute, an effective air defense range of 3,000 meters. Each gun is preloaded with 300 bullets, which can fire high explosive fragmentation bullets to counter area targets. To increase air defense effectiveness, in 2013, a new version of the K-30 Bihor appeared, equipped with Shingung surface-to-air missiles, increasing the range to 7 km. Two pods, each containing two missiles, are mounted, one of each side of the turret. Design integration with the missiles was completed in 2014. By October 2015, the system was seen full red production and was seen serviced by late 2018. Korea's self-propelled anti-aircraft system is equipped with advanced electronics, including a TPS 830K surveillance and fire control radar, an electro-optical targeting system, panoramic periscope, forward-looking infrared system, laser range fighter, thermal sight, a TV camera, and a digital fire control system. The radar is fitted with friend for identification system with range of 70 to 20 kilometers. The radar system provides ballistic calculation data from the digital fire control system to direct the aim of the electro-optical targeting system, which then allies the 30mm guns with the target for accurate fire. The K-30 is said to be a highly accurate weapon system, proven to be more accurate and price competitive than similar systems manufactured in other countries. The entire air defense system was mounted on the chassis of the K-200 infantry fighting vehicle, with some changes. The suspension adds an extra wear, a total of six double-tire road wheels to a hard side with the dry sprocket at the front and the track adder at the rear. The K-30 Bihor has a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver. There are two banks of six smoke grenade discharges are carried to allow the vehicle to produce a self-screening effect as needed. Due to a nearly double weight compared to the K-200, the K-30 is equipped with the German man T-2848 MT turbocharged steel engine, developing 520 horsepower. The road transmission system has also been replaced by the HMPT 503 EK to accommodate a more powerful engine. The modified chassis largely retains the protection and amphibious capability of the original chassis. The vehicle can reach a maximum speed of 60 km per hour, a range of 500 km. K-30 Bihors armor can protect the crew against more arms fire and artillery shell fragments. 
vehicles are also equipped with standard NBC protection system and automatic fire extinguishing system. In 2006, a contract has been awarded to supply this system to the South Korean Army. It is also offered for export customers. According to the latest information, India has signed a $1.6 billion contract with the South Korean to provide K-30 by her self-propelled air defense systems. This was a rather surprising deal because India was previously negotiating a contract with a value equivalent to Russian-made Nike K-22 Tuguska air defense complexes, priced at approximately $12.1 million per unit, plus a high localization rate that gives K-30 a competitive advantage. According to information published by India Media, India has chosen South Korea self-propelled anti-aircraft artillery systems because this complex better meets the tactical requirements of the Indian Army. The K-30 is considered more suitable for joint combat with existing Indian Army weapons than similar air defense systems from Russia. My video of K-30 by her answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.